back to another side quest! I'm so excited! Oh my goodness, so much has been going on here in the Village of Light. I just cannot wait to show you guys all of the awesome new things! It is just so much fun watching our village grow and prosper and, and spread around and oh, I just, oh, just wait, just wait. I'll show you guys what's been up. Ah, uh, we have quite a few villagers running around and that's really wonderful except I have some very sad news. We moved Anastasia uh, from her little corner over here so that she would be safe into the inn and apparently she decided to fall off of the stairs in the inn and she died from falling from a hard place, <laughs> a high place. So now we are out of our only villager, our only villager you guys, out of all of these herring <laughs> little ones who are cloning themselves a little bit. We are out of any villager that will sell us safari nuts. And so that means that we are going to have to go and have our harvest festival soon. And that will be really fun. I think we'll do it after we finish building the rest of the farms. And once we get our harvest festival get up and going, then we'll be able to have a whole bunch of babies. Because during the harvest festival, I will build one of the special little houses and stick a couple of villagers in there. And hopefully with all the doors we'll put in there, they'll have lots and lots of babies, which will be great. And then hopefully we'll not only get some more of the very special uh, cells villagers, the kind of priest priestesses villagers who give you the little safari nuts, but we'll also get some of the archaeology villager babies. And they can grow up and sell us dinosaur meat that we can put in the analyzer. Whoa! Yes, dinosaur meat that I can put in the analyzer. Just your kids. Hey Toby, good morning. Oh my goodness. What is this? Iron pick? Efficiency? No, thank you. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you very much. All right. What about you? Iron for emerald. Nope, nope, nope. My iron is more precious than that. Coal for emerald. I might be able to work with you, good sir. Also, goodness, one second. Music, you're so awesome, but so loud. All right, there we go. All right, so today I have a very exciting new build to show you. Oh, and look at this. I'm really happy. Some of the villagers have slowly started working their way over here to this edge. They don't really go beyond looking at the water sprite, but I'm quite pleased. And they do love looking at them. Like, they come over and stare at the water sprite a lot. How are you, sir? Oh, another call for Emerald Man. I think you and I can get along in the future, good sir. Oh, see, see, see. And they come and they kind of check out the little water sprite, which is really fun. Ooh, iron ore sweet berries. That might be a really smart thing to do, actually, since we're having so much of a hard time getting our hands on iron. It might be a good idea to whip out all the, the iron ore berries that we have and plant them. Ooh, that's exciting. But yeah, so you can see the villagers are slowly starting to trickle out this way. But uh, they're still not really like over here and putting them inside the inn just made a few of them fall from high places and die because they kind of freaked out. So what I think we'll start doing is like setting up the gates once I get a little more of the layout done. Whew. All right. But today's fantastic. Hello, little water sprite. Yes, splash, splash, splash. Today's fantastic new addition to the Village of Light is right this way, my friends. Past our wonderful inn, past the leather shop, past the doggy daycare, past the statue of myself. Hello, statue. Woof, woof. And yes, Lily and Tate are actually right over there. So you can see their little nameplates. They're in there. I just stopped by the employment office before coming over here because we have some new jobs that are going to be added soon. Not just yet. I need to finish up some of the old ones, but they're coming. They're coming, you guys. And then we've got Daisy at the back of the, the leather shop. We've got our new little awesome reading nook for the lovely Jo here, who's got her little home. Hello, Jo. And then we've got this. Look at this. It's one of our very first farms! I'm so excited! And this is a very special farm because this is the Dandy Farm Estates. And it has ostriches! Look at that! You guys were so creative in the different things that you came up with to show off of the farms. And in this case, Dandy said, Hey, I would love it if I could have some ostriches. And so... Ostriches it is! This is Dandy, the owner and maintainer of this farm. This is his home right here. And then he's got a little pen right over here where it's full of ostriches. Yes, hello, how are you? And I did a lot of research, well I did cursory research on ostriches. So we've got quite a few of the grasses and the seeds on the ground that they would eat. Some water barrels for them, some different leaves to eat. And they just hang out in here. Also they eat their, they eat their little plums. <coughs> They eat the plums hanging down from the plum tree that's above. And then they've got a bunch of birds that just fly around in the background behind them too. Because the birds are attracted to one of the bird trees up there. So I thought this was amazing. So yes, Dandy. Hey Dandy, where'd you go? Oh, there you are, Dandy. So Dandy's really cool. He's an awesome guy. And he will actually 
let's see, sell you quite a few of the really unique, more exotic things. Clearly, since he has ostriches on his ostrich farm, he has the more exotic animals. And then he also came up with the idea of selling some of the more exotic fruits and uh, little, uh, like, vegetables, too. And so you can come over to Dandy and you can buy some kiwi and a kiwi smoothie. You could get some raspberries if you just want to get them from him, or some tea leaves, or you can just get a straight up cup of tea that he'll give you. You can also get a nice thing of steamed peas because it seemed like a good balance to everything else. You can buy some cooked ostrich meat, and he can also get his hands on some of the very rare bird of paradise, which is really fantastic. So he might be one that we want to come back and speak to when it comes to decorating the, the dodo exhibit or any of the other tropical exhibits in the future. So that be very useful. He'll also, he's a feather lover, and so he will buy from you feathers, and you will, he will also sell you feathers. Yep, and he'll, he, so he'll basically sell you feathers in case you need feathers, because sometimes you just need a feather, and you don't want to kill a chicken, and we don't have the mod in place that lets chickens just drop feathers, so thus we have just the normal feather, so that's that. Then he will also buy white mushrooms and bamboo from you because they're things that he likes to cook with. He'll also buy seeds, wheatgrass, and jungle leaves. And those will be so he can feed his ostriches. So we can sell him uh, seeds. You know, seeds are pretty easy to get, but, you know, you, you can't get a lot in return for it. It's just one, one gold coin. But jungle leaves are a little harder to get, so you can get a few good gold coins for that. And he loves feather collecting, just like our wonderful Riz over at the Employment Center loves feather collecting. So I bet these two come together to compare their feather collections all the time. But we've got normal feathers that he'll give you some gold coins for. We've got some blue penguin feathers that he'll give you some gold coins for. Blue penguin feathers are really hard to get your hands on, so they're worth quite a few more gold coins. And then raven feathers are worth a lot of gold coins, because you unfortunately have to kill the raven to get the raven feather, so there's like... You're only gonna get one raven feather off that raven. So, you can get quite a bit of cool stuff from him. And let's see... Dandy. Hmm, maybe I'll have some delicious fruit salad for my lunch. Hello, would you like some fresh kiwi from my farm? Go ahead, take all you can. Just don't forget to pay, of course. And then he has a lovely farm assistant. Let's see, where's his farm hand? Sky, where'd you go? Sky, who is based off of Sky Pearson. Oh, she is always tree climbing back here. It cracks me up. But this is Sky. She is based off of the lovely Sky Pearson, who applied for a farm position. And when I realized how many of you wanted to be farmers in the Village of Light, I realized I needed to do more than one person per farm. So we have these amazing little setups where we have our farmer and their farm hand. Careful walking too close to the ostriches. Sometimes they like to bite your hair. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? You guys look like little ones who would like to bite hair. I'm watching you. But yes, this is Skye, so she's super free, uh, sweet and friendly. <laughs> and she will actually sell you the strawberries. She's really, really into strawberries. So you can buy from her uh, strawberries. You can buy strawberry juice, strawberry smoothies. She also loves trying her hand at baking quite a bit. So you can also buy strawberry pie from her. You can buy donuts. You can buy just a regular donut, or you could buy a frosted donut. And you can also buy some plums, because she will harvest from that plum tree right there and give you the results. So, where'd she go again? She is always climbing this tree, I swear. Sky, are you looking for more ostriches? Come back, Sky. I think she's looking for more ostriches. And you can also buy grass from her, and that's meant to signify, like, if you weed the little garden, then she'll give you the grass, then she'll give you the money, and thanks for harvesting that grass out of the way. You can also uh, sell her strawberries in case you work on harvesting the garden and replanting it, and then you can sell her the extra strawberries. You can sell her flour and sugar to help her out with her, her little baking experiments. You can also sell her orange juice, because orange juice is one of her favorite things to drink, and gummy bears, because she just thinks they're an awesome snack. Where'd she go? Sky! There you are again, Sky. All right, there you go. And then she likes to say things like, careful walking too close to the ostriches. Sometimes they like to bite your hair. Dandy has a passion for birds. That's why we have ostriches. They are pretty cool, I will admit. Hello, hello, seriously. Welcome to Dandy Estates. I'm trying out some new recipes. Would you like to try some of the new meals? So you can buy all sorts of yummy meals from her, which is really great. And they've got a pretty nice yard. Like, if you guys noticed, coming up, we might have to go to the end in just a second to take a quick snooze. But right here is going to be where we're going to put one of the little, like, corner 
garden pieces where people can just sit and relax. Maybe a really tiny fountain, maybe a really tiny tree, uh, just something decorative to mark like an edge. Like a little little decorative piece of the town uh, should be pretty nice. And then up here you can see all of the different flowers that they've got, which we'll see in just a second actually. We need to run inside the inn and go to snooze. Otherwise our, our villagers will get eaten by zombies we've found. I'm so sorry about Anastasia. Just don't fall off the stairs. I'm so sorry. Oh, I felt awful when I realized that uh, Anastasia or it, had fallen off the stairs and died. Oh, oh, it was terrible. It was terrible. Also, I need to put some blank journals in here so that people who stay in the room can write little notes and leave them here for other people who come and visit. Really fun little details like that here in our world. Hey, Teddy! I might need to get some food from you pretty soon, so I might harvest your carrots in just a minute. Always help to spend a little bit of time gathering some moolah when we visit the villagers. But yes, so Dandy Estate specializes in things that are peacock colors. Blues, greens, purples. So they've got blue, green, and purple plants all over the place. The beautiful blue roof. I am so happy. If you guys enjoy mods and you enjoy building, I highly recommend using carpenter's blocks because you can do so much with it. Look at that beautiful roof. I am totally in love with that roof. And then of course the chisel mod is where those windows come from. Chisel mod again is another one that I don't know what I would do without. That like plant mega pack, carpenter's blocks, and chisel mod transform how you can build and I'm really happy with oh oh I'm so hungry okay hang on uh, I've got a few raspberries I'm so hungry Danny can I pick some of your raspberries and eat them I'm starving also there's some pears or plums yay yay plums are growing on that tree I was worried this tree wouldn't grow but it did now it's growing its little fruit that's wonderful but yes okay I'm just gonna kind of casually can I can I just oh they're not ready to harvest what Oh, the strawberries are ready to harvest, though. Do, 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 do. And it's right, if you right-click them, you don't even have to worry about, like, accidentally destroying them or anything like that. Oh, these strawberries. I guess you have to do this. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then I replant them. But yes, yeah, so this is their strawberry and kiwi patch right here. A little dry, but they seem to be doing okay. Sky, Sky, here, I'm going to trade you some strawberries. How about that? Oh, look at all that money. Just for helping him out with gardening for a couple seconds. And then in return, I want a strawberry pie and a strawberry smoothie. And let's see, we've got 16. Let's go for some strawberry juice. That seems like it'll be a good thing for the future. There we go. See, so now we can sit here, admire the gorgeous ostrich and the many, many birds that like are coming by. And then we can also check out the rest of their garden. So here are the tea leaves. Uh, let's see. Okay. So, uh, all right. So that little heart means that they're ready to harvest. But I don't think Dandy or Sky gives me um, gives me anything. Well, I know we could probably cook them. Okay, hang on. I know we can cook the tea leaves and give them to Joe because she will take a nice cup of tea. So we'll help out in the garden for just a second. But yeah, making it so that if you think about who likes what in the village, and if there's anyone that you can take a minute to help out in the garden, and hopefully you'll replant the farms, or else that would be horrible if you just like came through and took everything. How rude, you know? How rude. The, the village leader who will be here soon would have to have some strict words for you. Hey, what's up? What's up, little ostrich pups? Huh? Huh? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm watching you. Yeah. But yes, yeah, so this is their nice little garden. Lots and lots of raspberries that aren't ready to harvest yet. Uh, lots of just little random fruits and vegetables that they grow for personal stuff right here. A little garden chest with some dirt and some of their kiwi, raspberry, and tea seeds. Some garden clippers, some gardening gloves, some wooden hose, stone hose, just some, some grass clippings, little shrubs, things to like work on the, the farm with. So Sky does a lot of the gardening. Dandy watches after the ostriches. They've got a really nice house too. If you come inside, they've got a nice little place where you've got Dandy and Sky's bed and a little ostrich egg to represent how awesome ostriches are. You've got some nice carpets in here tool chest, little bookshelf, and then you've got lots of yummy things, leather boots, worn farming pants, ostrich keeping 101, stray ostrich feathers, 
Then you've got, let's see, peacock feathers, straight ostrich feathers, walking sticks, sugar lumps, cooked ostrich meat, empty bowls, flour, cup of tea, raspberry, bakeware, all sorts of just random fun things that I really love. And then you've got a little plant. I love the little plant. Gotta have a little greenery. This is a little herb plant that you can just pluck a little bit off of when they're cooking. They've got a nice compact little kitchen. Very envious. I really have to have a nice kitchen like this. I would love having a nice kitchen like this. And then you've got just a whole bunch of cooking oils, bread fun fun things feathers little, little setup little plate setup nice little floor I'm really happy and I love the carpenters doors because you can do the doors in two tones and make them look so like farming authentic it's very awesome yeah you guys are pretty awesome too so this was really fun because I wouldn't have thought to have an ostrich farm but dandy he is an amazing amazing member of our community as are all of you but he's been around for ages and ages and loves ostriches and peacocks and so it just seemed like the perfect perfect thing to have in our world so I'm really happy to have those all right well let's see and casually uh, oh 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 those are strawberries I thought that was I thought those were tea tea leaves I thought I was sneaking tea leaves but there we go all right well I'm gonna get the some of this tea leaves heated up take them to Joe in fact we'll go visit her for just a second and the next time we come back, I'll have to show you some more of the things we've built. Hello, Joe. Do you take tea? Yes, you do take tea. If you give me just a moment, I will get more of the tea cooked for you. If you had any fuel. You don't have any fuel, Joe. That complicates things. All right. Well, I'm going to get some tea made for Joe and sold to her so we have some more coins to zip around. And then when we come back, I'll show you the other farm. So exciting. <laughs> <laughs> 